What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got to do the water pump and thermostat on my 3 Series BMW. This is something that usually has to be done after about 100,000 miles. Mine has 160,000 miles. It's about time so let's just jump into it and I'll show you guys the tools that you need and everything you need to do. So yeah, let's get it. Here's the parts that we're gonna be using. I got a brand new mall thermostat. I bought this on Amazon, but it's actually legit. It's real. Same thing with this one, Piersburg, brand new in the package. It's about 320 bucks. Comes with the bolts and it's got really good reviews and it's legit. That's how I have the car supported. It's right here on subframe, resting on both sides. And I have the jack for extra support. Now it's safe to get underneath. Cut on the top and we're gonna remove this right here and that will let us get to the fan. We gotta pull the fan and we gotta pull the overflow tank and then we'll get underneath and we gotta do a couple things also. Disconnect the negative on the battery, it's a 10 millimeter. We have a T20. We're just gonna remove our two, two pieces here, little guy right here. And then we can just pop it up. Make sure you don't lose this little piece. Now we're just gonna come in here and just Pull this guy off. Carefully release. Be careful when you release the tabs. The line is very fragile. I used the sock and extension to release the clip on the power plug to the fan. Now go ahead and remove the T25 on the oil cooler. It's at the bottom of the radiator, so you can disengage this from our, our fan. So now take a T15 and take out this little hook that's holding our fan. Carefully pull up on our fan. There's actually a clip down here. You see that clip? It's right here. And you pull out. To remove the radiator fan, pull up at the same time while pressing out the tab that I showed you. It will unlock on its housing. Be extremely careful while you're lifting it out to not break any of the hoses and wires that are kind of wrapped around it. You have to take it out slowly. Don't force anything. Now it's time to disconnect our radiator hose right here. Make sure that you have something to catch coolant pry tool. Unhook our pin, the pry tool in here, and just carefully pry around it. Ugh, there we go. That's all we needed. That hose. There we go. And look down there. There's a clip right there that we have to get. This is the best shot I could get of the clip in the middle there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off overflow tank, 10 millimeters, then you just gotta pop. I'm gonna get that done real quick. Pull up on this clip. There we go. And then just go ahead and remove the 10 millimeter. We're gonna pull that clip right there. There we go. Just like that. Disconnect this center by just pressing and disconnecting. So there's a clip. See that? There's a clip right here. Pry up on it. Pop that radiator hose. Shit. That's one way to do it. We got one more to get to right here. There we go. Here is the next clip that you're gonna to have to remove. It is located to the side of the air conditioning pulley as shown in the picture. Right there. Boom. Give it a pretty good tug, kind of wiggle it back and forth until it breaks loose. Now it's trying to go to the bottom. Break loose the four 13 millimeter bolts holding the sway bar. There we go. The sway bar is out of the way. Two 10 millimeters holding our thermostat to our uh, water pump. Now we actually can disconnect this guy. I can unlink this, pop this plug out. Come on, baby. There we go. Go, there's one plug. We got another plug right here. Just carefully pry it out. Now I can get this thermostat out of here. I just have to get this seven millimeter 
right there. It's actually a six millimeter, sorry. Pull this water hose. Oh shit, thought it was all gone. I guess not. Fuck. Let's go ahead and get this guy up and out of here. Here's where we're pulling the thermostat out here. Just like that. Now we can disconnect this line and get rid of this thermostat and pair our thermostat with the old one, transfer this hose. It's time to pull the pump. The use is E12 with the longer extension. I was not able to get a shot no matter how I put my camera on this one. The top bolt is located underneath the air conditioning pump. You're just gonna have to feel around for it blind with your fingers. All right, I already broke loose. These are E12s, external torque. We have one more bolt up here. We already broke it loose. Hose on the back of the pump is a six millimeter. I'm loosening up the other bolt that's holding this thing in here. All I have left is this, this hose that's welded on here. We're out. Compare the pumps and look it. It says Pureberg right there, putting the factory back in. All right, let's get to it. I went in there and primed the pump. I poured a little bit of coolant in the pump because that's what you're supposed to do. Now we gotta get this other one up in the top. This six millimeter, tighten this guy back up. Our water pump is officially in. Now it's time to get our turn the snake, our thermostat back through. right around that way. Looks about right. I tightened up the two 10 millimeters. I've already gotten this hose hooked up. Snap in your connector. Connector over here. Boom. All right. We are rocking. Carefully reconnect the hose onto the new thermostat. Don't forget to close the clip and lock it in place. You can use this still as a reference guide. Notice the air conditioning pulley to the right. Now reconnect the lower radiator hose to the thermostat. Connect the sensor to the overflow tank. Install both hoses onto the tank. Connect the other hose shown in the picture. Reinstall both hoses onto the radiator. Now go ahead and reinstall the radiator fan. Remember to hook everything back up and put the bolts where they're supposed to go as well. Don't forget to install the T25 uh, for the oil cooler. Take BMW Concentrate, mix it 50-50 with distilled water, get ready to bleed the system. 
Open the bleed screw about four turns or you can take it all the way out, it doesn't matter. Fill the overflow until the stopper comes to the top, as shown in the picture. After I filled in the coolant, I'm just gonna take a screwdriver, screw our, our thing closed. I'm gonna hook the battery cable back up. Remember, it's a 10 millimeter. We're gonna put the key in, key on on position. We're gonna turn our fan on, put it all the way on hot, hold the gas pedal for 10 seconds. Our water pump should be, there we go. You can hear the water flowing. It is bleeding the system. Now we're gonna put the timer on for, now our thing started, stopped making noise. Turn the key off, pull the key out. We're going to go over to our system now. Pop our cap up, yep, and we need more coolant in there. So our final stage here is we just gotta pour some fluid until our stopper comes to the top here. And our stopper's at the top. So gonna put the cap on. We're gonna start this bad boy and we're gonna run it for 10, 15 minutes and see, make sure that she's running good and she's not overheating or anything like that. All right, let's fire her up. All right, guys, so the motor, we've been running here for about six minutes. She's purring, she sounds good. This job is completed. Your E90 series BMW and get this thing working right. Last week I showed you how to change your uh, your <laughs> your oil. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. The uh, oil, your plugs, your coil packs, your brake plugs, your oil, and do the flush. This week I'm showing you how to change your spark plugs and your coil facts. A no uh, that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like it, subscribe, have yourself a blessed day.